Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. A couple of things, then. Uh, some of RimWorld-related. First thing I've got to say is some people have asked me about this. I don't think I've actually mentioned it this entire series. Must have forgot. Uh, we're playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines on the second channel, if anybody's interested. Um, it's a complete shit show, so try not to be. Secondly, I was thinking, how about as a kind of second thing? Let me know if you're interested in this. So it'll decide whether or not we actually go ahead with it. Is uh, doing a... Kind of a little mini-series after this one, after we've kind of, you know, seen and done everything, done all the weird stuff, to test out some really crazy kind of space builds. Not necessarily with death mode, but maybe using some of the more overpowered mods we've seen in the past. Um, the uh, Science Never Stops mod, for example, uh, whatever it was we were using before, the Rim Factory mod that let us churn out just a ridiculous amount of, of resources. Something like that to build just this crazy spaceship. Because I did say that we'd try and build a gun that literally went from the bottom of the map to the top of the map, but I, I was running the numbers on the resources and it would literally take us, it would take us weeks. <laughs> it takes a very, very long time. Bear in mind the spinal amplifiers alone, four advanced components, 60 still. I mean, the four advanced components is obviously quite an investment. Um, capacitors, 240, and then the gun itself. But I mean, we'd need this times Oh, man, hundreds. Like, like what, 400, I think is the... Let's test it out quickly. Um, but it's very expensive, suffice to say. Um, we need we need that much. I, I can't even see how much it is because it's off the bloody screen. Hang on. Um, right, so 125 plus uh, uh, 105. So 230 times, I mean, that is really... It's quite a lot of resources. <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking we could kind of do a secondary, um, you know, like mini-series after this one, an epilogue, where we install some of those more OP mods and we try out just some ridiculous ships and crazy guns and whatever else. I'm more than happy to test out. I think as a final goal for this series, building a big old Death Star laser on the front of our ship right now, because bear in mind, it's not just a case of building the spinal amplifier. We then need a ship that is capable of providing the power, has enough capacitance for it, um, enough of uh, a heat sink. Um, we're going to have to add more engines on, even when we build this thing, just to be able to push the ship. Bear in mind, we were already kind of at our engine limit there, so it's not going to be quite as straightforward as I said yesterday of just tacking a massive gun onto the side. So if you guys are interested in that, more than happy to do it. I think that'd be just a lot of fun. Just kind of a little fun side activity um, to to really round things off. Just, just I, I think a ship that's just one big fuck-off gun would be incredible. We'll say our final goal for this series is to build the ultimate... Uh, the ultimate plasma railgun. We'll build it, like I said, off the front of the ship here, as long as we can make it. We'll try and double up a lot of the hull as well. Obviously, we'll have to put down shield generators and heat sinks for this one too. So it's going to be quite the undertaking. But my goal is just to just to have that massive gun as a, as a tester, basically. Um, and we'll see how we do. But I think this has been... Uh, I think this ship is uh, an absolute success. Also, a lot of you were saying turn the shield generators off to let the heat out. Congratulations, it's now minus 38 degrees in the ship. So that's the last time I take any advice ever from the comment section. No, you, you Obviously, if we didn't have the frozen columns, whatever, it'd be fine. Um, but to be honest, I don't want to have it so that when the shields are up, this overheats. Otherwise, that's a nightmare scenario. I'd rather adjust it around the shields being up, if, if that makes sense. Because um, in combat, obviously, we're not going to have the luxury of suddenly sticking down a bunch of frozen columns um, without being blown up. My voice is also doing me uh, a big concern today because I've recorded quite a lot of, uh, long story short, new CK2 patch. I had to record basically another episode for that. So I basically did five videos yesterday um, and then I've got to do four again today. So my voice is not where it should be right now. Need it, need, need to rest it a little bit. Um, right, hold a base station. Let's get you, to be honest, we compete with the front of the ship, just have it running back and forth. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Just anybody to help out really. Welcome aboard, little hauler. Um, we were building that for the salvage bay though, weren't we? You know, I think I was. Um, it doesn't really matter. I mean, either in the salvage bay or in here is fine. As long as it's, you can very easily go back and forth. We could always limit an area between the salvage bay and, and this kind of dumping zone so it can quickly bring things over. But it's not. It's not a big deal. There were a lot of comments saying that apparently I missed uh, something like 2,000 components from one of the ships we fought yesterday. That was my bad. Genuinely didn't see it. Didn't mean to leave it behind. Um, but I'll, I'll take things a little bit slower when we look through the... When we look through the lists of, of, of stuff that we get from future ships, to be honest, I was still reeling from the fact that these guns are insane and our ship is incredible. Um, I want to go to a new planet. I want to I wanna see what that's all about. So we need another 102 plastil, 120 uranium. We should have that. Yeah, we've got more than enough. Oh, it's just... It's just they're too busy working on this one. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and unlock the airlock just to make that a bit more convenient for them. Same for refueling as well. Another one of you geniuses in the comment section made the very astute observation that it's very difficult to install mechanites without medicine. Um, so that's the... <laughs> that's a very simple, basic reason why we weren't able to... Uh, why we weren't able to install the mechanites on our people. So we'll get on that straight away. Um, I assume we could put it in... 
hopefully in these. Uh, we'll just grow herbal medicine because that's more than sufficient with our uh, with our doctor, with the scalpels, with the with the hospital we've got going on right now. Yeah, there we are. Um, can I swap that out for something else? What have we, what have we grown down here? That's tea, right? So we've got tea, we've got chocolate trees, which are just bizarre. Um, we've got strawberry plants, tomato, potato, corn. Man, they've got a hell of a diet up here, huh? Pea and then sugar cane I've been growing, but I couldn't really find anything to, to do with it. Um, I was looking through the recipes, and I couldn't see anything that called for it besides some very, like, unique situations. Like, I think it's a, a, an efficient version of soda syrup that uses sugar instead. So I guess we'll swap those out for the for the heal root. We don't need a massive amount, uh, but just enough to just enough to keep us going. Uh, hopefully enough just to cover any kind of, I don't know, maybe boarding parties. I doubt we're going to get boarded. The other thing we've actually got to do with the ship, to be honest, before we get too carried away with crazy guns, just to ensure we survive, you know, in case we come up against something actually quite powerful, unlike that satellite in the trader ship. Um, outside guns. I was thinking double up the hull, then put some hard points with the auto cannons. Well, I was thinking, are auto mortars something that's possible? Because if we get auto mortars, those things can fire before or as the drop pods are landing and, and generally as we've seen in previous series they can get a shell to explode before they've even got out of the ship so if that works that will be just fantastic um we'll try some of those just covering the external side of the ship a load of auto mortars sounds incredible right how are we doing with this then just finish off the last of the are these have oh we've actually got a component deficit how ironic wow that's my bad um move ship that just moves it within this yeah to be fair we could put it at the bottom of the map oh you know what we could do that couldn't we Last time, now bear in mind, we're going to have the blueprint issue that I had that makes the game all oh, lag so much. Okay, let's try and put it there. Then what I can do is we can um, build the, the front gun as far as we can. It won't be, take up the entire map, but we could try and add, you know, a good amount to it there. Come on. Don't crash on me, game. This was a problem I was having when I was obviously trying to blueprint the ship back into a... Oh, God. Back into a new map. It's not happy. Okay, bear with me here. We weren't able to place it in the first place anyway because um, the, the front of the ship clipped with the back of the ship. So you have to you have to pick a, a completely new area. So I put it right in the very bottom right-hand corner as much as possible. Right up to the map edge. That way, if we need to expand... If, if we want to expand the gun on the front, it is possible. Um, I just wonder what happens when you jump to a different map. Will it automatically jump to the somewhere where it's capable of landing? I guess so. Um, okay, we'll have to wait for the game to wake up now because it's really not happy about this. Hey, there we go. Is it good? Um, shields went down briefly. I assume that killed all my hydroponics. Oh, fantastic. Um, but other than that, we're good. We left behind a bit of a roof there. Not sure where that's come from. That's okay. Um, some components. Um, Johnson Tanaka Drive. Oh! Oh, well, never mind. Um, Johnson Tanaka Drive we left behind as well. That's a shame. All right, there we go. So we're right in the bottom corner of the map now. It should give us plenty of room to expand that front gun if we want to. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll do a dedicated series if you guys are interested in making weird, ridiculous ships. But this, I think, is an end goal. Like, a massive... Oh, fuck. I may have, once again, bitten off more than I can chew. Let's get components, huh? Just to get the ship hull in. We need to go fight another trader ship, don't we? We'll wait for one to spawn in, then we'll immediately gun for it. Oh, the game's so angry. Oh, nice. There we go. Okay, I wasn't expecting them to build that so early, but that's not a problem at all. We'll do some jumps around, see what we can do. What's, what's kind of the end goal of uh, Save Our Ship, then? Is there, is there like, um, you know, it's not like a spore-style get to the center of the galaxy or anything, right? I assume it's just fly around and build your ship until you die, perhaps? My god, this is a lot of steel. Holy shit, wow. With the, with the speed bonuses, too? It, I know it doesn't seem like much, and I know it seems a bit trivial at this point in the game, smelting steel slag, but holy crap, it's fast. Look at our steel ticking up, though. We've gone from, it was like 200, then up past 1,000 in, in about two seconds flat. Uh, the problem that we've got right now uh, is that we've got no food. And obviously, we've just relocated the ship, and that killed all the hydroponics just as they were about to grow. So, uh, I butchered the U that we got, and that actually genuinely might have saved our people's lives, which is incredible. I, I did an emergency rice harvest. Some of them have grown. Obviously, the ones clustered by... More of the sprinklers have grown, 87%. They've only got to hold out one more day. That's why everybody is just breaking down right now. <laughs> We're not compensating for anything here in uh, in Mondo's Magic Gun Emporium. That's just... Oh, God, look at how phallic it's become again. Why does this always happen? It's one of the fact that plasma is indeed stalled in the balls. Oh, Skylar. I mean, to be fair, there isn't anything to eat or drink besides... Psychite, or they could have some raw tea leaves, which sounds absolutely vile. Uh, I've never really nothing to cook at all. I, I've had it just a, a very basic cook simple meal until there's 12 meals each job. Um, 
Just so that the second we get some rice in, we can we can get to work. Oh, they've been eating the raw rice. That explains why we can't cook any friggin' meals. You assholes. What happened to my limitation? They ignore it when they're starving, I assume. Um, yeah, evidently. Well, that's quite annoying. Maybe don't eat a hay. I shouldn't have to tell you this. K Kipple, you know what? Sometimes if push comes to shove, that's not... It's not necessarily a terrible idea. I think we've all eaten a bit of cat food now and again, right? Worryingly, I've never owned a cat, so that probably makes it far worse. Um, how are we doing with my with my Mondo's Mighty Shaft? <laughs> Mondo's Mighty Magazine. Well, it's not really a... Mondo's Mighty Missile? Mm, none of these really work. Oh, it's because we're playing on the hardest difficulty. That's why there's no bloody yields coming in. I was thinking, hang on, five rice is quite low. Um, that explains it. Okay, fair enough. You know, that's just that's, that's just Remold. That's just a side effect there. Ah, they're frying deep fried rice. Is that? Of course you get fried. I don't know what I'm talking about. Fried rice. Oh, mad. Insane. What are these people like, huh? Uh, did you just seriously cook? <laughs> How about uh, the, the, the crazy meal of deep fried rice and just regular rice cooked into one simple, easy to consume dish? That's a little weird. I won't lie. You should probably tell them not to use deep fried stuff as an ingredient because that is a meal in itself um you can use any uh yeah yeah, yeah that, that's all fine um no deep fried anything please no deep fried vegetables um i think i think that's probably right that's okay yeah i'm all right with that let's go ahead and copy that into the other bills as well um and that that does copy that over yeah okay good 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 i didn't want them using because that counts as a meal in itself the downside to it is they do get cholesterol if they eat too much of it um i think one of them was on the verge of a heart attack to be honest with you um quickly take a look psychotolerance tolerance hypothermia i mean it is minus 148 f um what does the suit not protect you from that uh what is the suit insulation cold 100 degrees c weird okay fair enough that's a bit strange i suppose you're wearing nothing else but the suit Apparently all their clothes have deteriorated away. I didn't even realize. We'll get someone else on that at some point. Um, Psychite, refreshing. Oh, yeah. That, so that's the modifier from the advanced beds, by the way. The refreshing sleep also gives 5% uh, consciousness. So it's actually really good. Much better than I thought it was. What a mess. Psychite tolerance, drank soda, toxic buildup, and hypothermia. They are living their best life out here. I generally thought the Yayo would have disappeared faster than it has. We've still got stacks of it sat there in the freezer. Yes, finally, enemies. Uh... A planetary invasion flagship. That doesn't sound very fair. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, I will admit the game's also crashed. Hello. Rimworld. All right. Give it a minute. Oh, there we go. No, 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 no. Speed one, speed one, pause. Planetary invasion flagship. That's large. Hello. Um, oh, my God. That's fucking huge compared to what... It's got spider lasers. Um... Boys, this may be a little bit too much. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do then. Set force target. Let's try and knock out those lasers first, because we know what they can do. Um, that's it. Fire away. Good, good job. There we go, torpedoes. There's railguns away as well. Our, our big boy railguns firing. They look as if they don't have any railguns, so am I mistaken? Oh, they do have railguns. What the hell are they firing at? Nothing yet. Oh, they got no shields. Oh, there you go. Shields are just online now. We managed to get a good couple of hits in there, though, before their shields came online. Oh, God, they're firing back. How are we looking? Oh. Oh. Oh, God, the heat. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. First volley, we're, 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 su we're, we're surviving somehow. Okay. Here we go. Next bit. God, the game is not happy about this. We are really pushing it to its limits, aren't we? Okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Get those shots going. How, how is their ship looking? Do we get any critical hits or anything? Um, we did destroy some stuff. Um, not really what I was after there. Okay, and what are their spinal... Can we kind of see what they've... Oh, spinal capacitor's there. So they've got maybe three amplifiers there. Okay, that's quite dangerous. They've got a lot of torpedo launchers, which I'm not pleased about at all. Um, okay. Shots are passing in the middle. Oh, God. I'm not sure whether to look at our ship for when the when the weapons hit or to look at theirs. Okay, we're, we're firing another volley there, too. Fantastic. Oh, God, they're moving with some haste, aren't they? Let's look at their ship. I feel like I'm more invested in whether or not they blow up rather than whether or not we blow up, to be honest with you. Good hits, good hits, good hits. Okay, their shots are about to hit us now. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, did our shots not hit then? Oh, there they go. Come on. Torpedoes, I'm relying on you here. Okay, our heat capacity is going to pop. Shit. How are we doing with the heat? Uh, this room is up to 13 degrees. Whoa, staggering. Yeah. Okay, we're dead. We're fucking dead. Or not, because we've got backup shields, but... Oh, no. Oh! My fucking ship, you son of a bitch. Wow, this thing's strong. They, they've already destroyed one of our... Oh, man, they're so strong. I should have picked, shouldn't have picked on trader ships. Okay, go on, then. I think we may be screwed. Shall I start retreating, or should we... I mean, I feel like we're just dead here. Um, go on, see if we can get away. Retreat, retreat, retreat. This is not ideal. That's it. Fly away, little spaceship. As fast as your little legs will carry you. Uh, they've blown a hole in the hull. It's not a big deal right now. Our hydroponics are fucked. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. They didn't do much damage to the hull with that. We're fine. We've just got to keep putting some distance. Oh, God, I think they're catching us. They are catching us. I don't think we can get away. Are our engines too badly damaged? No fuel from where we relocated the bloody ship. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that is a, that is a problem. Oh, fuck off. Really? That's a shame. I guess it reset everything when we moved position. We do have chem fuel, right? I'm not, not going insane. Um, or maybe, we, maybe we just don't have chem fuel. That's probably more likely. I'd like to think that's the case. Um... Chem fuel, chem fuel. No, I, th I think we're out of chem fuel. Okay, that's not so bad. Um, now it's just the fact that all our hydroponics died and we obviously weren't able to make more chem fuel out of ketchup. That's not such a big deal. I mean, I think we're dead as dicks here. I hate to say it. Oh, fuck, Mondo. Run, Mondo. If only we had escape pods. Do you think we could land the ship? Hornabot 14 is dead. Can we land? Stop, maintain, weapons, shields. Nope. Uh, we're dead. Can I surrender? There's no, there's no surrendering in space. Well, no fact. Okay. We've got to fire back. We've got to fire back. I'm not just going to sit here and let us die. Uh, right, here we go. No, 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 no. Stand, stand around. Advance. Advance. If we're, if we're, if we're going to die, we're taking them down with us. Right, weapons. Kill them all. Just, just keep focusing fire on those, on those turrets. Let's see if we can bring it down. We've got the heat capacity for these weapons to fire, is it not? Oh, God. Okay, they can fire soon. Man, I can't believe our engines weren't refueled. That sucks. There we go. Okay. Let's see what damage we can do. I think the strength of our ship is definitely in our laser cannons. Can't fire them. Not enough capacity. Theirs is firing at us. And they've got two of those spinal capacitor weapons. Here are my hydroponics. Not so bothered about hydroponics, I will admit. Oh, no. Next ship we design. Less... We need less uh, kind of civilian stuff, more weaponry. Just more more weaponry, more heat sinks. That's all that matters. No nuclear reactors in space. We'll stick to the ship reactors instead. That was definitely a big fault of this ship, I will admit. Um, go a little lasers. Oh, God. That's sad. Seeing that thing destroyed makes me makes me really sad. I was, I was enjoying those. Oh, there. Shield's down. There's a chance. It's going to be a period victory for them either way. Come on. If we cut through this, it'll shear it off, right? I think that's their fire foam poppers going. We might still take them. We might still be able to take them here. We're not going to have much to show for it, but we can escape and escape pods. Come on, people. Keep firing. Keep firing. Rip through it. Oh, God. How are they? What are they doing to us? They've cut straight through our hydroponics, and they are about to hit the... Luckily, they're hitting nothing essential. They, they haven't hit anything essentially. They get dangerously close to the nuclear reactors. Um, but other than that, I'm really not too concerned. Are we? Can we? Can we? Can we fire anymore? Um, we turn the shields off like voluntarily. I mean, they're not taking. They're all broken anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, well, the torpedo bays are they firing? Not loaded. Not loaded. Oh, that's annoying. Why are they not loaded? The hauling bots are torpedo bot. What are you doing? Standing. Do the bots not fulfill? Oh, they don't refill them. That explains a lot. Right, so the torpedo base have been not very effective at all. I, so I think somebody said that the torpedo bots are capable of doing it. Maybe they're just bugged out. Maybe the hauling bots just aren't... Okay, what are, they, what are they doing now? Moving. Yeah, that's not ideal, is it? What are you doing right now? Moving. Well, Cat's refilling the, tor the torpedoes. Let's get someone else over there who's, who's fairly close. Barry. 
Get you on this one. Uh, and let's see. Uh, what damage did we do? Barely any. <laughs> Barely any. We've destroyed some of their hard points, but their ship's hull is still... I mean, it's still untouched. Okay, keep going for that tactic. Let's just see if we can let's see if we can shear a bit off then. Um, go on. Let's aim, at, let's aim at the actual core of the capacitor there. Come on, little ship. The little ship that could. I believe in you. God, the heat is just not... It's just not moving, is it? What the hell's going on? Stored heat is maximum and it's just not going anywhere. Why is it not going anywhere? It's like the heat sinks just aren't working. Oh, it's a vacuum. The heat sinks don't work in a vacuum. Right, yeah, that's a concern. Um, let's get down some, some foam as quickly as possible. So, heat sinks in future ships. Center of the ship, like, multiple lined with their own shield generator. Like, this is good. If this had been in the middle of the ship, it would have been perfect. But I know how things work now, so I can make a much better design. Um, we do have hull foam, actually. Uh, let's get, let's get uh, ship, 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 ship. And let's go hull foam. We can save this. If it's already occupied. Oh, fuck off. Right. <laughs> hull foam. There we go. Uh, let's get rid of this stuff. And let's go hull foam. Builders. Uh, let's get Mondo on that side, please. As soon as possible. No, 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 no. I don't think you understand. Oh, we do need to rebuild the plating. You're right. Um, Skylar on this one too. Please, fast as you can. Not that. Don't care. Go, 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 go. Oh, God. My kitchen. My soda. Oh, I will get my revenge, Planetary. How are they moving that ship with this many engines? What are you talking about? You're telling me they can move this entire ship with just eight rocket engines? Unless there's some hidden, like, up here. But that's... That can't be right. We needed, I mean, 30-plus engines to move ours. Although, to be fair, ours is... I guess bigger. It's not bigger. It's more dense. It's definitely way more dense. <gasps> we actually got a volley off. Wow. Okay, come on. Oh, we are getting through their hole very slowly. If we can get another one of those gone. Oh, no. Oh, is that... That's them firing at us. Oh, balls. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. It's an... Pork. Pork, you don't want to be there, brother. This is a nightmare scenario. What if I deconstruct the bridge? Will that count as a surrender? Oh, God. You guys are in a bad place. I think we've got to. I think we've got to wa wave the white flag on this one and say it's over, isn't it? Wow. My poor ship. I thought. I thought I could do everything with it. I. I hate to say it. You know. I thought we could have the super. The super powerful nuclear reactors. I thought we could have a whole craft there. Let's be honest. Their ship does not have a soda dispenser. Their ship does not have an entire crafting bay on it. Man, that's uh That's a shame. But to be fair, once we'd outfitted the ship, once it was ready for combat. The At that point, we don't really need this stuff because we can just attack traders or enemy ships and, and get components and resources from that, you know, rely on salvage. That would have made a, a lot more sense. I don't think we're even going to touch them, are we? Here comes another volley. We might just about eat through a bit of their hull. There we go. We, we managed to get into it a little bit there. Torpedo. Fucking hell. <laughs> Uh, that's a hell of a boarding party they were preparing. If we get one more shot off, we might be able to cripple them. But I feel like our poor ship is not going to not gonna come away from this. No, my shuttle base. You know how much they cost me? So, also putting all of our heat sinks in one room was a terrible idea. That's something else that was uh, it's a fairly valuable lesson well learned, I think. Oh, don't put another hole in it. Oh. Oh, he spoke too soon. Are we actually going to get some damage going here? Come on. Come on. Cut through, cut through, cut through. You can do it. Oh, it's a bad day to be you, my friend, Abram. Bet you thought this was easy pickings, huh? You thought this ship would roll over and die. Not Mondo's magic missiles. Uh, I think we're, um... Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. We're back. Okay, don't panic quite yet. We're, we're still in the game. We've woken up their drop pods, at least. Well, that's, that's, some, that's some damage. We've killed some people, if nothing else. So I've got a bit of revenge there. Something's quite clearly on fire. I'm not sure if it's fire foam, though. You know what? Our ship is actually pounded in here. We're doing a, we're doing a good job. All we've got to do is cut through, like, five blocks of... Uh, five blocks of hollow. We're going to cut this entire fucking part off. 
Come on. The little ship that could. Is that our torpedo? Don't think it was. Damn. That might be the end. That might be the last shot we actually managed to get off here. I hate to say it. Maybe we should disable... Uh, we, we could disable the rail guns. I don't think they can even fire at this range, can they? Um, just go plasma weaponry. Then, of course, we've got our laser barrel, but that obviously can't fire. Oh! Milo! Oh, he's about to take a plasma shot. Oh, okay. Went straight through him. It did some damage, though, though. Holy shit. Oh, no. It's it's fine. Just his liver. Just been shot with an inter an interspatial railgun turret in the liver, and he's fine. Be more like Milo. I want an incredible guy. How are we looking? Well, we've managed to kind of... We, we've kind of cut their ship open there, and all this crew is kind of spewing out everywhere. Their big lasers are coming in now. Oh, that's like the worst place they could have fired those. Oh, yeah. There goes all of our heat capacity. Just completely fucked. Yep. That's not ideal at all. Um, they haven't hit... The, the reactor room would have obviously been... It would have been devastating. That would have shut the ship down. Decentralized future ships. That's, that's essential. Oh! <gasps> Mondo. Mondo, what the hell? I mean, the man took a, 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 a laser spinal barrel death ray. I, I mean, I wasn't really expecting him to survive that. Oh, man. This is, uh, this is a tragedy. This is a real tragedy. Ex-Dr. Don and Mondo both fallen in the same shot. That's... Oh no, Dr. Don! <laughs> Position heal thyself. I don't think he's getting up from that one, people. I think I think poor old Poor old Mondo is uh fucking dead as all hell. Oh wow. I mean I I, I mean Mondo took it on the chin, but Dr. Don like actually just got incinerated there. Have we done any more damage to them since? I very much doubt it. Oh, you know what? We got some plasma shots off there. That's going to be pretty devastating. That will kill some people, I hope. Shit. I mean, this has, been, this has been cool to watch, but... What a lesson. What a lesson in hubris, huh? Thinking we were ready for the big boys. Not a, not a chance in hell. Not a chance in hell. I want to watch this explode, at least. Whenever you're ready, game. It's, it's struggling a little. There we go. Set up a little chain reaction there. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a bit strange. How's the how's the ship going? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, they're aiming for the reactors now. I think one's actually going to hit the reactor. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm going to probably just time lapse our ship being blown up uh, as a kind of final, final farewell. Because uh, there's not a lot, a lot to talk about right now other than just... Just sadness and sorrow. Um, we did what? Sorry. Ship battle one. <laughs> Ship battle one. With the destruction of the enemy's control systems. <laughs> uh, the bodies are gone, unfortunately. Otherwise, we could genuinely, I'm not even kidding, rebuild. Ship battle one. What the fuck happened? We could just move on to their ship. We could just fly over there. <laughs> well, there it is. The end of Mondo's missile. Uh, whatever we were going to call it. Destroyed in absolute tatters. They didn't touch the bridge. And ultimately, that's all that matters. Uh, survivors. Hocus, Emily, Ciala, Dante, Barry, Cat, Pork, Dr. Zerato, MD, and... Milo, tragically, our boys, uh, obviously Amy C died, but our boys Mondo and Don, along with the other ones, Constantine, Bear, uh, Skylar, 
tragic, tragic time. But we won. And my friends, that is the greatest victory of all. We won via attrition. <laughs> I wonder why they... That's so insane. I wonder what caused them. Did we genuinely just happen to hit somewhere that... Is it a, a, a cascade? Did they starve to death? Look, they're all dead there, and I don't know why. We must have just hit something. They all starved to death. What happened? Heat stroke. Heat stroke extreme. Wait, they died from... From the heat? No. Heat stroke serious. Heat stroke extreme. Extreme, extreme, extreme. We literally took so much damage. We tanked so many shots. Their ship overheated and it cooked the crew. I'm not even kidding. Sometimes I astound even myself. That is, what a victory. You all thought we would not win that, but holy shit, we cooked their crew and there's a perfect ship waiting for us. What a, what a, what an end. What an end. Oh, we will leave our introductory series to save our ship here. Um, bear in mind, our ship is well and truly unsavable at this point. Um, a, a, a Pyrrhic victory through and through. We lost our boys, but we did come out of this with knowledge and uh, we didn't lose. I mean, you can't you can't deny that. You can't say, oh, he's so bad at this game because I won. You can't deny it. It says it right there on the screen, my friends. So I'll leave it up to you guys where you want to take it with next series, whether or not you want us to um, go for a more overpowered, uh, you know, thrown in like like, like Rim Factory and, and Science Never Stops. Maybe just Rim Factory. Science Never Stops is apparently getting an update soon. Um, the dev messaged me the other day. So um, we could throw in we could throw in Rim Factory and, and just kind of churn out resources. No more waiting around for hydroponics and shit. Build a proper ship now that I know what I'm doing. We'll start on an ice cap or something like that. Um, with, with a load of technology done, we'll start kind of quite high level. Um, rebuild and, and get out there and sort of see what we can do with 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 knowledge now, if you guys are interested. Alternatively, we can move on. I've got next series planned out. We'll need to build a new mod pack, so there'll be a slight delay in that one. But I will uh, I'll leave it in your very capable hands. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been a, It's been a very strange, weird series, and I don't really know quite what i expected but there it is thank you in the meantime of course to our executive producers over on coffee for making this series possible in the first place a thank you goes out to darkus odie sonic uberetto emily moira mythomatic big weeb layla scarlet bard jan buen gun juncture on asser and the cat and my name isn't dio for their support over at the executive producers uh on on coffee thank you to those guys for making the channel possible and a thank you as well to Valo, Consulus, Fiddle Piddle Diddle Riddle, Davidovich, Emerald Beam, Dave TLV, Aji Dumar, Uve Uve Way Way Way, Zafio, Hallin, Jonah, Betamus Max, El Zilcho, Jesus, Nox Immortalis, Gentleman Ghostronaut, Tom Pash, Moondoggy, Marcel, and Extra Smooth for their supports over on uh, Coffee as well. Thank you to you guys, and I look forward to whatever is chosen next. I've got good ideas either way.